Hi learners, welcome to my YouTube channel. So today let us do the part three of the same topic. We already seen the ratio part and the first, we will have a look at the previous videos. So here we are going to see the something about the proportion. So now you should know something what is proportion. So I'll just written some of the points over here. So when two ratios are equal, they are said to be proportion. So with the example, I'll show you the later example in that thing, that can be more clear. So here, just you have to remember when two ratios are equal, they are said to be in proportion. And the symbol is used in ratio, we see just two dots. Here we'll see four dots. So that is, is used to express the equality of two ratios. So this four dots. And here, if it is A is to B is equal to C is to D, then the numbers, this A, B, C, and D, they are in proportion. So we also, this way is equal to, we can write this four dots. This will be the same in place of A is equal to, we can write here four dots. So we write A, B is to C, D. So we can also read as A, A is to B, A is to B as, this will be as, C is to D. So now two ratios again they are said to be in proportion when if we can write here product of extremes is equal to product of means. So what do you mean by extremes and the means? So now if it is A is to B is as to this one C is to D. So these whatever are there at the this first and the last one they are the extremes and the middle ones this two B and C they are called the means. So when you take the product of this extremes will be equal to product of means then we can say that is in proportion now let us see with the examples now we'll go for the exercise 7.2 here they said determine whether the following are in proportion these four numbers are given a b c d so we now we know the formula that is what is that product of extremes is product of means so these are the extremes so 23 into 13 and these are the means 46 into 26 so when you multiply this one, you get 299. And here, when you multiply this, you get 1196. So that is not equal to, these both are different. So we can say, if it is equal, if this also was 299 or this was also 1196, then it could be in proportion. So we can say, therefore, 23, 46, 26, and 13, they are not in proportion. Now let us see for these numbers. These are the product of extremes and these are the product of means. So that is here 40 into 192 is equal to 46 into 160. So when you multiply this one, you get 7680. Again, when you multiply this one, also you get 7680. So these both are equal. So we can say therefore 40, 48, 160, 192 are in proportion. Hope this is clear now. Now here they said find the value of x. So find the value of x means here we can see x. So what we'll do, we are going to cross multiply. So 7 into this, if we take this one, 7 into 36, and this will be 6 into x. So when we solve this one, 7 into, this will be as it is. This 6 will go in the denominator. So that is going to be x as it is. So 6 ones are 6, 6 are, so 7, 6 are 42. So x is 42. Either you write 42 is equal to x, x is equal to 42, both is the same. Now again here we are going to cross multiply for this one. So 2 into x is equal to 3 into 52. So x is going to be 3 into 52 and this is going to divide by 2. So this will be 2 1s are 2 26 are and 26 3s are that will be going to be 78. So x is 78. Now here they said find x in the following proportion. Now this is given 12 is to x is equal to 12, 21 is to 28. So we have to see find x in the following this proportion. So now what will you do here? The extremes 12 into 28. So this is 12 into 28. And these are the means x into 21. So now what will you do? 12 into 28 is as it is. This 21 will go on the other side that is going to get divided is equal to x. So now what will you do here? You can write here 7 3s are 21 and 7 4s are 28. Then this will be 3 1s and 3 4s. So what remains here in the numerator is 16. So 16 is equal to x. Now for this one, 
we can see like this extremes and the sorry this is the means so x into 16 is equal to 24 into 12 so x is going to be 24 into 12 and this is going to get divided by 16 so here what will you get here 8 2 za and 8 3 za 2 1 za and 2 6 za so this is going to be 18 so x is 18 now again here product of extremes is going to be a product of means so 1 by 12 into 1 by 5 is going to be 1 by 15 into x so now we can also write this one 1 by 60 so here or you can write 1 by 12 into 1 by 5 both is the same and this when it changes the side means 1 by 15 is changing the side means this is going to get flip over so that is going to be 15 by 1 that is x so now 15 ones are 15 fours are so here 1 divided by 4 so that is 1 by 4 is x now again here product of extremes and product of means so 0 sorry product of means product of extremes and product of means so that will be 0 0.6 into x this is going to be 0 0.8 into 2.4 so now x will be 0 0.8 into 2.4 and this is going to get 0 0.6 divide you have to divide it so what will we get here this will be so now here 2.4 divided by 0 0.6 so it is divisible because the both the places there is one decimal so we can also write this as 24 by 6 so 6 ones are 6 fours are so 0 0.6 here that you multiply by 4 here will be 4 and now we only multiply here 0 0.8 into 4 so that is going to be 3.2 so x is 3.2 now here find the fourth proportion to this one so these are the three numbers given and you have to find the fourth one fourth proportional to so now we can consider here let the fourth proportional be x so now these are as it is so this will be 48 is to 12 is equal to 64 this is the third number and the fourth we are going to put here x so fourth proportional be x so now we will see product of extremes and product of means so 48 into x a is equal to 12 into 64 so x is going to be 12 into 64 and divided by 48 so what will be here 12 ones are 12 fours are 4 ones are 4 sixteens are so x is 16 so we can say therefore 16 is the fourth proportional to these three numbers that is 48 12 and 64 hope this is clear now we have here three numbers again and we want the fourth proportional so we can again write here for let the fourth proportional be x so now 5 is to 4 is equal to 0 0.6 and fourth is going to be x now let us take the extremes and the means so for 5.4 into x is will be 1 by 8 into 0 0.6 so x is going to be 1 by 8 into 0 0.6 this is going to get divided 5.4 so now see here these two numbers 1.8 divided by 5.4 this also there is a, after one number is a decimal this also so you can also write this as 18 by 54 so 18 ones are 18 threes are this is what i've written here so now three ones are 0 0.6 divided by three so three ones are three twos are but there is decimal so answer is 0 0.2 so 0 0.2 is the fourth proportional to these numbers so now let us look for this one there are three numbers the fourth proportional be here we are going to consider this the same is equal to here and the fourth is going to be x so now what we are going to do product of extremes is equal to product of means so one by one by 15 into x is equal to 1 by 5 into 1 by 12 so x is going to be 1 by 12 into 1 by 15 and this is going to go on this side so it will get flip over 1 by 15 is going to be 15 by 1 so this is 15 or no need to write 1 that is understood so here will be 5 ones are 5 threes are 3 ones are 3 fours are you can simplify it anyway whichever you feel easy so in the numerator we have all ones the denominator 1 into 4 that is going to be 4 so x is 1 by 4 so we can write here therefore 1 by 4 is the fourth proportional to these numbers this is given here again here 24 8 and 75 so for fourth proportional be x 
So 24, 8, 75, and the fourth is going to be x. So now extremes and the means. So 24 into x is equal to 8 into 75. x is going to be 8 into 75, and this is going to get divided by 4, 24. So 8 ones are 8, 3 is 3 ones are 3, 25 is So x will be 25. So 25 is the fourth proportional to 24, 8, and 75. So by this one, we have completed today's work. Do like and subscribe to my channel so you get a notification of the other parts. Thank you.